I'm gonna need probably about 60 inches of height to clear, to get that camper high enough to clear the truck. Welcome back to our Bigfoot Truck Camper Renovation Series. In this episode, we're gonna remove the snowmobile deck from the back of this truck, remove the truck camper from the back of the Dodge, and then get all the measurements we're gonna to need to fit that camper up in the back of this big thing. So we got the deck unbolted. I made Marianne climb inside the box. <laughs> I should have got it on video, but she got the bolts out while I went underneath and held nuts. So I got, my forks aren't long enough to go underneath this thing all the way. They're only probably four foot or something. So I got a, uh, a steel bar across, which kind of, it could be a little bit longer, but it catches the edges there of the frame. And um, then I have this strap holding that steel bar from going forward and falling off the forks. Then I have this other strap around the back of the deck holding it down so it doesn't tip forward and hopefully I can uh, pick it up. We'll see what happens. I wouldn't think it weighs more than maybe 500 pounds or so as a guess. It's an uh, aluminum frame but it's got plywood on top which is probably waterlogged so maybe more. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So we got the camper off the Dodge, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference in height. So we're gonna have to do some math here to see what it's gonna take to get this thing in the B. We have a tailgate height of uh, about 40, 41 inches on this truck, and a tailgate height of, oh, about 49 or a little more on this truck. Well, the difference of 9 or 10 inches on the tailgate height is one thing to deal with, but we have to think about cab height too. This truck sat, where the in this Dodge truck, the camper sat right on the bed. Our cab height is about 41 inches, pretty close to the tailgate height. So this truck has a really high cab. We're probably 53 inches on the cab height on that one, so considerably higher, which means we're gonna have to raise the bottom of the camper up. So not only do we have to lift the camper higher to get it up to the tailgate height of this truck, but then we gotta lift it another bunch more to be able to clear the cab with the proper amount of clearance. So I think I'm gonna need a spacer, probably about 10 inches in the box of this truck to get the camper to clear the cab. And then we're gonna have to build jack extensions for the camper to not only be able to lift it the extra, you know, eight or nine inches to get it up to this tailgate height, but then another 10 inches to clear the, the uh, spacer in the box on this truck. It's time to do some mathing to see if it's gonna work. So I've been doing lots of math on this. To uh, clear the cab in the B, I'm gonna need approximately 10 inches of spacer. So I'm gonna build up a temporary platform out of some uh, two by eights and sheet of plywood and make a spacer. And that should uh, facilitate us to get the camper to clear the cab. Now the height issue, uh, maximum height of the jacks on the camper as it is right now, 45 inches I can lift that camper off the ground. Um, the with the box spacer in the B and a little bit of leeway for clearance. Then I got to factor in. I'm going to go to a couple inch bigger tires. I'm going to need probably about 60 inches of height to clear to get that camper high enough to clear the truck. So I think I'm going to go a little bit more than that just to be safe. I'd rather have a little extra than not enough. 
So I definitely need a 15 inch spacer. I think I'm gonna go 18 just to be safe. So um, we'll get some uh, 18 inch spacers built up for those camper jacks, get a approximately 10 inch spacer built for the truck box, and then uh, we'll see if we can get that thing in there. It might be a little sketchy. Here we go, our last piece of plate. I'll uh, clean that up on the grinder and then uh, drill the holes to match the other ones. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Any support is appreciated. And if you'd like to see some more current content and behind the scenes action, check us out on Patreon. This is galvanized pipe, so uh, I ground off on the edge where I'm, uh, where I'm welding it. Because uh, you're not supposed to breed that stuff, it's supposed to be bad for you, so. This is actually the mast, it's some nice thick, maybe 3 16 pipe. Uh, it was the electrical mast from a house I renovated a few years back. I put in all new electrical right from the mast all the way through. And uh, yeah, so that mast is going to use now. So I'm going to center this post on these bolts on the top plate. Between the bolt holes, nice and centered. And then it should be pretty much centered under the existing jack post. As long as my cut's straight, she should uh, be straight. Looks fairly straight. A couple more times. So these um, holes are really close to the pipe. So I'll just take a little bit off the side of that head so it can sit nice and straight in there. All right, so that fits nice in there now. We can weld her in. All right, so bottom plate. Just gotta weld that on there. I cleaned it up with the grinder, got uh, some of the rust and old paint that was on that metal. I just center these and get them pretty much lined up square wise with the top plate. And we'll tack her in place. Just a few tacks, not a complete weld, but almost a complete weld. So there we go. One extension, we'll see how she fits. Okay, so I bolted that one in place. I got two built now, so there's the second one. We'll go like that. And uh, so the two bolts that I welded in are on the side here. And I actually drilled it for a third bolt on the outside to give it a little bit more rigidity. We're up there, but that's an 18 inch spacer. And I figure that's about what we need to get around the big truck. I'm not sure yet. I may put a bar across between the two fronts because these are um, these are swing out brackets, so they're kind of flexy. No, they're not the most confidence inspiring thing when you're lifting it up high. That's why I have it sitting on the truck right now. It just I had to see how high it would go, and to get it that high, I put the truck right under it. It freaked me out, and now I got to go 20 inches higher. So. 
I don't know. I might uh, I might devise some sort of a crossbar to go across between the two just to give them a little bit more rigidity, maybe like a square tubing or something. I don't know. We'll lift it and see how it goes. This uh, I'll put this one on the back here. I'll run that jack back up and we'll put her in place. All right, so I got that one in place. Get a couple nuts on that. We'll do a third one. There you go. One side done. 18 inch lift kit. Two more brackets to make. Well, there we go. I got uh, one. Two, three, four, four stilts, honor. So uh, now we should be able to lift it high enough, but I still need to build a approximately, I think, 10 inch spacer for the bed of the other truck. To get clear the cab with the front of the uh, camper so that'll be the next project and then uh, we'll get to the sketchy part of lifting this thing really high and seeing if we can get it in there and just kind of do a test fit and see how it goes Come out. <laughs>